are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. So what's he going to be going through when we pick up the season? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, stuff. Stuff. Uh, his, his girlfriend's gone, Liam's girlfriend's gone, so I think that's a big issue for him. Because um, he's kind of alone now, you know, doesn't have anything to fall back on. Um, I think he's getting closer and closer to becoming the leader of, of the pack, you know, with time. So I think he's kind of stressing out about that because he's taking every season Liam takes on more responsibility. And I think that that's going to always be a constant struggle, especially with his kind of uh, anger, disability kind of thing. fans seeing every season, but this is the last one, um, and it's just we, we all we all put everything into it, you know, we did, uh, we really gave it our all, there's like a lot of, I've seen a lot of the stuff and there's a lot of really good performances, and um, yeah, I mean, I'm just, it's just, it's ending the whole show, you know what I mean, so it's kind of, it's a little nerve-wracking, because not everyone might like how it ends, you know, you don't know, so, but, um, I think we killed this season, so, I can't wait for everyone to see it. What was it like having the, like, the gang all back together and having Tyler Belcher return to Halloween? It was great, I mean, we, we didn't, we all have different storylines, you know, so we, we work at different times, we have different plots and stuff, but, um, it was great just having them back on set, you know, I worked with, with Hecklin, uh, in season four, a little bit, and I was there the day he wrapped, like, from the show. And then he came back, so it's, I mean, it's just good to, to have the family back together, you know. And I've met, I've met um, Colton uh, here and there, and I know Max and Charlie, and uh, Max isn't back, but Charlie is, you know. So it's just good to have everyone back. It was like a really full, fun set this last season. Does Liam team up with anyone that we won't expect him to? I mean, with Theo. He, he's still teaming up with Theo. They kind of have... Um, a really funny relationship that we didn't, I, I don't think we anticipated it to, for people to like it as much as they did in the, the last part of the season, uh, but everyone does, so we just played on that, where they wrote more stuff for me and Cody to do, and I think that's really, that's kind of the main, it's, for Liam, it's Liam and Theo and Liam and Mason, it's pretty much kind of, you know, his thing, and then the rest of the group and everything, but um, I think really the only one is probably Theo. Is your relationship with Mason going to grow even more? I'm so to learn how Scott and Smiles kind of like really bonded with the season. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think of specific scenes that I miss. Um, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, I'm best friends with Kyle. We're, we're best friends, like, you know, we're always together on and off the show. So I think as our relationship grows in our personal lives, the, you know, our acting together grows as well. So I think each season we manage to make it more specific and more our friendship on the show more uh, interesting, you know what I mean? So I think even there's a little bit more like coming together kind of stuff, like bonding moments, but even if they didn't write, any, write anything specifically for us, you know, whenever we act together, it's just more and more, um, it just gets real, more and more real. Is that something you requested? Um, I didn't really request it, I think. Uh, did I request it? <laughs> no, no, I didn't request it. But I think kind of as we, you know, we've been doing the show, Jeff will write things here and there, and the writers will kind of like test stuff out, you know, like we'll give him a funny line, see if it works. And I think ever since I did that, fell, I fell in a whole thing. That's like kind of when everyone really was like, oh, okay, he can, he can be funny. So um, since then, they've been writing more and more funny stuff, and um, I definitely have some really cool uh, comedic moments in the, in the last season that are going to be really funny and I'm excited for everyone to see. Do you feel like now that you've done a lot of comedic moments, maybe your next one will be more of a comedy role or just anything that comes out? I mean, out? I would love to do a comedy. I would love to, to, to do a comedic movie. It would be really fun. Um, I love, uh, I really do love comedy. I love awkward, awkward comedy, you know? Like, The Office is one of my 
favorite shows. Um, and I think I pull a lot of my comedy from that show. Um, I don't know, I think being awkward is really funny, so that's something that I've always played on. Um, so maybe I can figure out a way to make that work, you know, in my career and do some more funny films and I'd love to, but um, honestly, I would just do anything as long as the material is good, you know? That's all we, actors care about is good material. Looking back over the, the seasons, is there an episode that really is like Liam's defining mm -hmm. episode? There's going to be a lot of stuff this season I really like. This was like this season that we just did was like the first one I really felt like Liam was like very adult and like very, the character was a little bit more respectable, you know what I mean? Like not in terms of like, Liam's always been a good character, but like in terms of just the tone, it's overall a lot more adult-like I guess and a lot more... No, he just seems more. He just seems grown up, really, this season. And um, I think there's been all kinds of scenes that define Liam. I think that um, I don't know. There's been a couple things, but I, I mean, he's always struggled with his anger. So that's kind of like the thing that he's not completely. Yet, there yet, but I feel like this season is kind of setting him up to be, um, you know, it's kind of, I think this, what I'm trying to say is this season's really defining Liam as going forward. Yeah. That was a, a runabout, but it was we made it. So. <laughs> we made Did you guys it. find it exciting that you were kind of going back full circle to now, instead of fighting supernatural creatures, you're back to being hunted by hunters? Dude, yeah, I mean, that's... I think in terms of the show, the way that they mapped it out, that's really cool. And I also think that just as an actor, it was fun to do that because we played a lot on the, like, you know, uh, in the last, the season before this, we had the Beast, you know, which was fun, but that's like a big an like animated character you have to like really act. Whereas we got to work with all real people for the most part. Um, and I don't know, it was a lot, it was a lot, um, easier to play to, a lot closer to home because it's kind of like, you know, if you see a gun in real life, that's that's scary and then you act that out and that's also scary where it's kind of hard to imagine like, how what would it be like if I see a beast in like real life, you know what I mean? You kind of have to do some tweaking in your brain to make that work for you, whereas, you know, running from someone shooting at you is, is a lot easier and um, more real to play. So I think for the actors that was fun going back to that because I remember seeing the hunters in season one and I think one and two was it and um, I was like that would be cool that'd be cool to do you know um, and the gun fights are fun to film and fun to shoot um, so I think that's really uh, I don't know it's just it's just it, it's I liked I like doing the real people I don't know it was, it was something about it was a lot easier and um, it's just fun to do. What was the hardest goodbye for like which characters for you? The what? The hardest goodbye. In, you mean in real life? Yeah. Um, the hardest. I don't know. It's gonna be hard. I'm gonna miss everybody. You know. I, I think I'm really gonna miss. Um, I worked with Tyler and, and Kylan the most, probably, and Cody. Um, but I live really close to Cody, so I see him all the time. I live pretty close to Tyler. I think I'll probably miss Kylan the most because we have so much fun filming, and uh, he lives like two hours away. So unless we're doing this kind of stuff, we don't. We still talk, but we don't see each other as much because of our physical location. So I think I'll miss um, living with him because like, he left. He lived at my house while we were filming. So I'll miss that kind of uh, roommate, like bachelor, kind of, I don't know, we were just, <laughs> we were just like together 24-7 when we were filming. Uh, we were always driving the set together and stuff, so I think I'll miss that routine. But um, I mean, I'm, I'm close to everybody on set, so it's not like I'm not going to see them. Really. I'm not too worried about that. If, if we were to catch up with Liam in 10 years, what would he be doing? I think he'd probably... He definitely would. I feel like he would get back together with his girlfriend. I think he would. Um, I just really like that their relationship. But I think that that would happen. Um, 
I don't know. We didn't really explore too much like what Liam would be doing uh, as a career, like as an adult. Because I think because his character was kind of young still in the show. But I think he's probably still in Beacon Hills. He's probably like either, I don't know what happens with Scott. I don't know if he stays the alpha or what he does. So I'd say Liam's either right there beside him still or Liam's the, the new leader. Because um, he really cares about the pack and I think he wouldn't abandon them. Maybe he's a mechanic. Maybe he's maybe he works at the grocery store and then he fights crime at night. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, I like that. He's the manager at uh, a local Beacon Hills grocery store. Is there anything that you wanted to do on the show that you didn't get to do? Um, we do. No, we do so much stuff on the show. You know, we have comedy, um, horror, action, romance. We have everything. I think. The one thing I would have liked to do more is the comedy, you know? Uh, I think that was really fun. It's, it's, we're all so hyper on set and have so much fun, you know what I mean? So I feel like that would have been even more fun just to add on top of it. But really do a little bit of everything. So I got a good taste of everything.